beginning, as we like to say, of consciousness. But in the case of a black child born in this country, when he opens his eyes on what we call the big world, he discovers two terrifying things. First of all, he discovers that he does not exist in it. No matter where he looks, by which I mean books, magazines, movies, there is no reflection of himself anywhere. Or, if there is something in the book, and I mean by now also textbooks, which are used in all our schools, if he looks for himself and he finds anything which looks like him, he is authoritatively assured that this is a savage or a comedian who has never contributed anything to civilization. And that's not all. Then he begins to wonder how he, who is, as somebody else put it, half the size of the rest of the world on a nickel to his name, is going to survive this brutality. And again, according to me, that is the root, the beginning of this demoralization. Notice of intention to circulate petition. Notice is hereby given by the persons whose name appear below of their intention to circulate the petition within the County of Los Angeles for the purpose of amending chapter 3.79 of the Los Angeles County Code of Ordinances to revise the powers and duties of the Los Angeles County Sheriff Civilian Oversight Commission. A statement of the reasons for the proposed action as contemplated in the petition is as follows. Los Angeles County is home to one of the largest jail systems in the world. Most people in Los Angeles County jails are awaiting trial or were sentenced for nonviolent offenses. Many have unaddressed mental health or substance abuse issues and many are homeless upon release. Los Angeles County has the largest population of people in jail with mental illness of any jail system in the country. Los Angeles County spends far less on vital prevention programs such as homelessness programs and youth prevention programs than it does on incarceration programs that can more effectively stop the cycle of crime and save county resources. Youth violence prevention, mental health treatment, and housing programs that address chronic homelessness work better to prevent crime and reduce wasteful spending in the justice system. Drug addiction and mental health issues, especially when combined with chronic homelessness, drive many crime incidents, especially nonviolent crime incidents. These drivers of crime often get worse with jail time, not better. To unburden the jails with problems it cannot effectively address, Los Angeles must invest taxpayer dollars into prevention and treatment. The county is now on the brink of dedicating billions more dollars to construct two new jails. It is time to stop this wasteful cycle with a new public safety strategy. The Reform Jails and Community Reinvestment Initiative calls upon Los Angeles County to develop a more sensible approach to costly cycles of crime. The initiative paves the way for the county to reduce recidivism, prevent crime, and permanently reduce the population of people cycling in and out of jail that are experiencing mental health, drug dependency, or chronic homelessness issues. The Reform Jails and Community Reinvestment Initiative will task existing Los Angeles County Sheriff Civilian Oversight Commission with developing a comprehensive public safety reinvestment plan and feasibility study to reduce jail populations and redirect the cost savings to alternatives to incarceration. The plan will identify needed prevention and treatment programs to stop crime cycles and will map out steps to create a new public safety approach to bring Los Angeles County into alignment with best practices to reduce crime by redirecting resources. 
The initiative will also ensure that the commission has the tools necessary to do its job, including enhanced powers to conduct independent investigations and to require attendance of witnesses and production of books and papers pertinent to its investigations and oversight. Los Angeles County urgently needs a more effective strategy to stop the cycle of crime and to save county resources. The cycle is costly and ineffective. Jails cannot effectively address underlying issues related to mental health, drug dependency, or chronic homelessness. The Reform Jails and Community Reinvestment Initiative is a sensible approach to develop a new public safety strategy to save county resources and to protect, restore, and strengthen our communities. Signed by Patrice Cullors, Juanette Cullors, Mark Anthony Johnson, Heather Miller, and Priscilla Osha. Another battle begins. And the battle is involved with resting. So now stealing from, creating out of. So entirely hostile environment, some sense of yourself. I don't want to be rude to anybody, you know, but for example, there is on the face of it no real reason that any black cat should conk his hair. And when it's done, and then everybody has the right to do whatever they want to do. I'm not really, you know, um, attacking um, how people dress. But when it's done, it's a reflection. It has to be a reflection of the civilization in which he was born and the values of that civilization. Because he was born into a civilization which said arbitrarily and had the force to prove it that Robert Taylor by definition and Gary Cooper by definition and Eisenhower by definition are better men than you. And you do your best to somehow deal with this and we all know Negroes who have done everything in their power to turn white. I don't mean people who pass, that's another story. You know. But I mean people who look like me. You know. <laughs> who never eat watermelon. You know. Never go anywhere near fried chicken. Are always impeccable who cannot be seen at four o'clock in the morning, maybe, without a tie on. Because they are respectable. And they're gonna prove it, they're gonna prove it to whom? This is one, only one, of the terrible things which one has got to deal with and use and transcend in order to become a man in this country. Initiative measure to be submitted directly to the voters. The County Council has prepared the following title and summary of the chief purpose and points of the proposed measure. Los Angeles County Sheriff Civilian Oversight Commission Ordinance. The purpose of this proposed measure is to enact an ordinance amending Title III of the Los Angeles County Code related to the Sheriff Civilian Oversight Commission. The measure proposes adding section 3.79.210 entitled Comprehensive Public Safety Reinvestment Plan to reduce jail population and to provide alternatives to incarceration by researching and developing the plan within seven months of amending the county code, conducting a feasibility study to timeline the plan to reduce jail population and strategy to reinvest jail system costs into prevention and mental health treatment. The measure requires the committee and the plan and study to identify existing proposed and alternative options to arrest and incarceration for nonviolent crimes where mental health, substance abuse, and chronic homelessness are issues. And since I have the habits of an older brother, or since I consider myself your poet, and do not want to see any more black lives ruined in any way, whatever. And although I know I will, one would like to channel it, to channel it so that one can minimize the damage, the human damage. We are living through a revolution. We really are. 
and there's no way for that to be pretty. But I would much rather that one did concrete things, like to be reckless. If I were, you know, um, really a politician to distinguish with someone who finds himself in politics, if I had that kind of capacity, that kind of capability, what I would do in Harlem, for example, would be to organize a massive rent strike and have nobody pay the rent. I mean it. Have nobody pay the rent. This is a ghetto. I don't care how much rent you're paying or how pretty your apartment is. This is a ghetto because you can't get out. It's important to remember this, that so far everything that's been done in this country, we did for ourselves. The administration boasts of its record in Birmingham and overlooks the fact that it was in fact the Negro people of Birmingham who forced the crisis. And then the department moved in with too little, much too late. There are things, one has got to be not confused. One is attacking not the white face, one is attacking a power structure, a very complex power structure in which a great many Negroes make money too. One's got to keep the pressure on all those people in power.